Hey, so a guy just fell into a nuclear reactor. What? Don't worry, he's fine. And this is why that's important. The man fell into a radioactive pool of water. Fell into a nuclear reactor cavity. On Tuesday, October 21st, 2025, a worker at the Palisades nuclear power plant in Michigan fell into the reactor cavity where you put the fuel. Reactors like this are normally filled with water when it is being refueled, so the worker fell into a pool of water above uranium fuel pellets, ingested some of the water, and then was safely hauled out. I wouldn't want to be that guy. Now, in the reporting of this, you will see that the worker was then tested for contamination and they found 300 counts per minute of radiation in their hair. Hey Kyle, that sounds bad. Well, only when you don't know what these numbers actually mean. What is 300 counts per minute? Well, let me check what the radiation rate in this very facility is right now. Go ahead and zoom in on this number. In this room right now, away from any kind of radioactive source, it is what? 300 counts per minute. My point is that the worker that fell inside of a nuclear reactor, while it was not critical, was totally fine. Nothing above background rates of contamination, they returned to work in a day or two. I'm highlighting this story because the Palisades nuclear power plant is about to make history. It's going to be the first nuclear power plant in the United States to be once decommissioned and then recommissioned to produce power. As this occurs, little accidents like this are going to get a lot of press, and many of you sent this story to me, and anti-nuclear activists can use stories like this to say, well, see how unsafe it is? Well, actually what happened was a worker wearing a life vest fell into some water and wasn't contaminated above background and is totally fine and returned to work. No, 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 no! 